who knows nothing can understand nothing. Plunge deeper into the darkness and your heart will grow even stronger. Good tidings, everybody, and welcome to the Answer Report podcast. This is episode number 57. Why couldn't it be 58 or 56? I don't know, That's but cursed. it's 57. I'm Mike. Here with me is my brother, Jason. Hello. Who is a just a beautiful specimen, mm. specimen of a person. Oh. oh. Love him dearly. How, how are you doing, Jason? Dude, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good as well because uh, last week our episode was the first ever, ever. live Ansem Report podcast, and it was... Bu- 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 ballin it was ballin it was a blast we had a great time it was incredible i i I really enjoyed it so many of you guys came out yeah i want to thank everybody for supporting us in that endeavor yes everybody that was there and um it was it was it was very nerve-wracking at first because it's like well this is something that obviously a lot of you wanted so it was a little bit silly to feel this way but like we were like, well, what if nobody like shows up? It's gonna be there's gonna be video content of it, whereas the other ones have never had like video content. Right. I was very nervous for it. I I don't know if that came across in in the uh, stream, but I was um, terrified hmm. that either a no one was gonna show up, or b that everybody was going to show up and I was going to be a dumb dingus and fuck everything up. <laughs> so, um, but thank you to everybody who came and hung out. Uh, you know, we had a lot of different people that don't normally join us for our streams there. And so that was really cool to see and really cool to have you guys out there. And we will be doing that again. And I actually have a date and time for you. An exact date and time. An exact time. date and time. Tuesday, April 14th. At 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time oh will God. be the return of the Anson Report podcast live. 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 We're going to have some upgrades because Jason had some ideas of things he wanted to Why, do. Yes, I do. So we're going <laughs> to we're going to but we're going to continue to uh, do that probably once a month because it was a great time. And I mean, eventually, maybe that's the format we go with. I don't know. Yeah. I don't knows? know. I, I can see how there was some like I didn't get any complaints about it from the uh, podcatcher side of it. Mm with everybody i everybody that listened to it either on youtube after or um on your favorite pod catching service everybody said it was oh that was so fun to to re-listen to that or to listen to that for the first time but i could see how there's certain things we would do on that that wouldn't translate well into that yeah uh media medium medium so i don't know we'll see i will see i i i'd like to continue to grow that and see how it goes because i think it was really cool yeah. And fun. And I mean, that's in general, the podcast in general, we're trying to do different things and, and make it better and better each time we do it. I don't know that we succeed, but we sure appreciate everybody that's along with us for the ride. Uh, speaking of that, Jason, I do want to say we do a poor job of... We suck. We do we do a poor job <laughs> of putting ourselves out there in the way that we should, where mm. we don't plug our stuff enough. Mm. I we like do joke plugs where we like like with the live podcast we plugged it like a million times on the previous podcast like <laughs> a joke but we should actually but, do that <laughs> but um if you I don't know what just happened something fell it. something fell if Dear you want to join our discord and hang out with our really cool community that link is in the description whether you're watching on YouTube or your favorite podcasting service um our at Twitter is at Spike Getty Bros. You can tweet at us. You can email us at ansomreportpodcast at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. If you want to email us and have us discuss something for the show. Also, if you listen on iTunes or you have an iTunes account, we'd love to get a uh, review from you guys on iTunes because that yeah. helps us. Drop a review for the boys. Uh, Apple Apple Podcast is probably the most prevalent podcatcher in the world. Spotify's close, but Apple's still king. Mm. And they have a review system, and that helps. The more good reviews you get, the more 
you're pushed forward in their algorithm. So that would really help us out. Help out your boys. Uh, even if you don't leave like an actual review, you just give us five stars. That's cool too. But we'll, we <laughs> we yeah. like reading the actual reviews on air, good or bad. So yeah. um, lay it on it us. It warms our hearts. Except for you, Nake0123 or whatever your name was that said we don't have the <laughs> love for the characters <laughs> who, at Kingdom Hearts. Because we do. Who reviewed us twice. <laughs> who reviewed us twice and gave us a worse review the second time. What a shit heel. Anyway, everybody has to have a bad guy in their story, though. That's true. I thought mine was HMK, but maybe it's Nakio one two. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's bad reviews. Maybe it's bad. Where reviews. they say we don't love the game. Right, right. Uh, speaking of which, we did a. I want to apologize as well because mm. we did we did we kind of baited everybody that the Union Cross <laughs> five minutes was bad. <laughs> and while I think it's funny, and I thought it was funny in the moment. I hope I didn't. We didn't offend anybody with that, but we mm. w- it will be coming back as soon as Dark yeah, Road yeah. decides to drop. So it was that, kind that, of a bait, but like also like that's gonna be real soon, right? Just like wait and see kind of bait. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. Don't worry, it's coming. I, <laughs> I wasn't expecting the whole like fanfare of it either. <laughs> when you were like, like I knew that's what we were gonna do, and be like, oh yeah, it's gonna be like. The Union Cross five minutes, but really we're just going to announce that we're going to be doing Dark Road, right? And then <laughs> there was like the whole intro, yeah, dude. Like, come on, the entire intro, like, <laughs> I but can't... like better than we've ever done it before. Like, <laughs> wait, what do you mean? <laughs> like, we got like we got like this like live music playing. Everybody's hype in the chat. We're like we're we're getting hella hype for Union Cross five minutes. Everyone's like, oh, my God, it's actually happening. Oh, my God. And then (laughs) we're like, psych. Yeah, well, I also was like, everybody get hype. And everyone's like, oh, shit. Like They were (laughs) were were, spamming the emojis. The chat was getting spammed. And then my favorite part of that, though, was uh, BioRox has joined us. If you don't know who BioRox is, he has a pretty successful YouTube channel where he does – a bunch of different breakdowns of form changes and other other videos, Kingdom Hearts related and other 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 series as well. But he had he had joined us at, uh, on stream for the first time, and everybody's freaking out. And then he just types, "What is happening?" <laughs> 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 oh, that was funny. It made me laugh. Also, uh, another thing I want to apologize for is my girlfriend and our lovely mod Tara <laughs> Grief. griefing. I, I don't know if it was easy to. I tried to make the context okay when you're like listening to it but basically what happened was tara was trying to support us she was in florida with her dad and she so she turned it on the stream and then put it face down at the restaurant they were like at, with so no volume with no volume so it didn't look like just to give us a viewer she right, was just helping to give us, us out. a view you know and somehow her phone started just banning people in the chat the crust on the table was pressing buttons yeah something happened there so we uh Mel got banned, but we immediately fixed that. And then, of course, Tyler, the eternally griefed <laughs> Tyler, Tyler Rims. Uh, he was like Shadow Realm banned. Yeah, we couldn't even find him. You, you look on the list of people banned, and, and he's he just not there. even there. So we had to find, like, the, the chat codes or whatever. Like the command, yeah. yeah. To unban him. <laughs> but that was really funny. She feels really, really bad about that. I want every, she, like, she's so embarrassed about that. Uh, it feels so bad. And I told her, it's okay. It was funny. Like, it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. You know, no one, <laughs> you didn't. I was just like, what is going on? Yeah, we're like, Tara, stop. Isa, <laughs> stop. But, yeah, it was, uh, that was pretty wild, man. What a wild and crazy time. It was a good-ass time. Yeah, so we're we're looking forward, and we hope you will look forward to april 14th at 5 p.m wow. Eastern Standard Time. wow 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 i'll be i'll be 22 years old oh, that's right it's after jason's birthday jason's birthday is april 5th so um shower him with gifts that's the that's the week we won't be streaming because we'll be working yeah here, uh, Lot, we, lots of inhumane hours here's, here's the thing <laughs> inhumane here's hours the, i'm gonna announce this now what because um Usually I announce it the week of, but I'm, yeah. I'm going to say it right now. So this is the 13th. Today is Friday the 13th. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. What the fuck? Next week is Friday the 20th. The week after that is Friday the 27th. And then it's Friday the 3rd of April. Friday the 10th of April, there will not be a podcast. <laughs> Jay, I work like 80 hours at my job that week. It's just not possible. Not po- so in a, exactly uh, thirty one days. 
Wow. There will not be a podcast. I'm giving you guys a lot of notice on that. So you can uh, make other plans. You can uh, watch some of our old podcasts if you want. Ooh, if you will. If you will. You can watch some of our YouTube videos, or you can just, you know, go watch another outlet that yeah. week. Yeah. I don't know what you would watch. Maybe there'll be a new uh, Secret Reports video, or maybe there'll be a new yeah. BioRoxis video. Yeah. Or or like like a new water cage video. Yeah, or water block. Or water block. Or a noir little bomber. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're they're, they're demo. Okay. We, we haven't said demo in a there while. There might there might be a new demo video. Yeah, a new demo. Dean. Yeah. Sora might... Alarm one. Yeah, there might be. There are, but that's it. There are no other cage <laughs> content creators. <laughs> There's no one else. Oh, you could listen to Kingdom Smarts. Mm, That's yeah. a podcast about Kingdom Smarts. You could listen to... Um, if you like Final Fantasy X, you could listen to Gotta Memorize yeah, podcast. they're not going to talk about Kingdom Hearts anymore. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is such a weird decision, but I, I you know, whatever. I'm it's not still weird, but it. we're still going to do KH. Yeah, because that's what we do. If we if we wanted to talk about something else, we would just do a brand new podcast. You know what I'm saying? True. You picking up what I'm laying down, True. my guy? We would just like if Mike wants to do a podcast on the Castlevania anime, he's just gonna do it. He's just gonna fucking do he's it. He's just gonna do it. Does anybody want to do a Castlevania podcast with me? Please, uh, please God, email me at uh, uh, desperateforfriends at gmail dot com. Oh my God! I'm gonna make that email after this episode. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Jason. Now that we've kind of got that housekeeping stuff out of the way, do we, is there any more housekeeping we need to do? Oh, Tuesday, March 16th at 6 p.m. on twitch.tv slash Super Spaghetti Bros, we'll be starting our stream of Jedi Fallen Order. Oh my so if you're God. interested in Star Wars stuff and you want to watch us play a video game. And possibly me rage. And possibly Jason rage because it's kind of like a Dark Souls game from what we were told. Actually, I've played a little bit of it. Mm. I don't like it. You don't like it? It's not my kind of game, but yeah. it might be your kind of game. Mm. So we're going to play it. Like I'm I'm like debating on what what difficulty I should play on. <coughs> I mean, okay, it's not hard. Yeah. But it's like you have you can't turn your mind off and play it. Right, right. Which is not a game for me. Mm. I like to turn my mind off and just yeah, tap square, yeah. sometimes triangle. Yeah, there you sometimes go. Sometimes X. There you go. <laughs> Maybe hit R1 to target my enemy every once in Ooh, a while. Oh, okay. You know, that's what I like. I press to do. like L one to like pull up a list of commands. Maybe no, I don't. I just you just I press hit down, down on, on the D pad to go to magic. <laughs> How dare you? And then I select the magic. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody using not knowing how to use the command menu would play Kingdom Hearts three for the first time? <laughs> Filthy casuals, dude. Oh my God, Thank that's God. how I casted all my magic in KH one my first playthrough, dude. Bro, okay, I know I just said there were no other Kingdom Hearts uh, content creators out there, <laughs> but Sarah Key's dope, and then second of all, <laughs> second of Shout all, out. there's this dude, HMK, I don't know if you've heard of him. Yeah. And I was He's on- He's got a really cool uh, Link emote. <laughs> yeah. I was, on, I was on Twitter, and like- Someone who was a fan of his, I, I saw this interaction happen. They, like, reached out to him, like, hey, I don't remember. They had a theory about, like, something with Kingdom Hearts 3 to 4 or whatever. Hey, what would happen if that done typed out this nice response to him? And you know what his response was? Yeah, I already did that theory, bro. This is what I said. I already did that theory, bro. Just, like, super dismissive and, like, I was just like, why Why is anyone a fan of this dude? <laughs> you know what I mean? I would feel really bad. Like, 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 it, I, I typed up, like, this long theory on Twitter or whatever, like, talking about KH, something I'm passionate about, to, like, somebody who's, like, probably one of my, like, is a creator I watch that right. I like, right? It might be his favorite, might not, right? And then you tweet at them, and then they respond, and you're like, oh, my God, I got a notification. They responded to me. And then it's me. just like, you pull up. yo, I already thought of this, bro. It ain't a contest, dude. It's like, damn, dude. Well, like, okay. My heart would drop. Say that was me, and I, we're not really theory crafters. Like, we like to no. talk about it, but we don't come up. with We, we have, like, harebrained theories where it's like, <laughs> yo, what if, like, 
what if like that mix really is a cereal bowl you know like we have theories like that <laughs> and we don't spend a lot of time on them we just kind of talk bullshit right yeah yeah we're like we leave that to like other people and to be fair hmk does craft some nice theories you know what i mean he's yeah. he don't, like what he if does Walt his Disney research was in kh3 right <laughs> broke he, the fourth wall okay that, that's not the, that's example. the best one <laughs> that's not a good example but if someone came to me on Twitter or wherever, and typed out this thing saying, yo, this and that, this and that, this and that. I'd like to think that my response wouldn't be, yo, I already did that. <laughs> yeah. Like, if anything, it'd be like, oh, oh we're, we're on the same page. I can't believe we had the same idea. Here, here's the video I made on it if you want to watch it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Instead of like... Or if someone was like, hey, I don't know if you guys did some content on... The Sleeping Realm Theory, it's really it's really fucking cool. Right, like, and I, I was just like, we actually made a whole video series on it, if you want to check it out, or a whole podcast series where we talked about Sleeping Realm. Right. Yeah, we, we love that theory. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Instead of, already did that, bro. Like, wh- why are you trying to dunk on somebody that's, like, your fan, <laughs> dude? Like, <laughs> And then, like, Steph Curry swag walk away. Right, like, dude. <laughs> why are you trying to dunk on people that just want your attention, man? You shoot that like, at three and you just And I see walk, that all away. the time. Mostly from him, but I see it from some other like YouTubers I follow on Twitter stuff. But like mostly from him, he's just trying to dunk on people. He just he's just trying to super hot fire everybody. Like uh, I'm our, not a our boy Ra Henry, he always is sending me stuff like news articles and stuff. Hell and yeah. a lot of times I've seen him before he shows them to me, right? Yeah, because I'm because we're, we're fiends, right? We're fiends, but like I'm still like, hey, thanks, man, appreciate it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, because I do, I appreciate that people care enough about us. To tell us what the news is, so we can talk about it. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. Like, it, like it's. It, I think I feel like it's similar along the lines of when when you you find a really really spicy meme, right. top shelf meme, and then you you're like, oh, I gotta send it to this person. Like and then it's, it's like, akin yo, to I that. Seen that meme. Right? Yeah. It's, it's or it's akin or to that. yo, I made that meme. Like yo, <laughs> that meme's like a yo. I'm the one that made that meme. Not funny. Didn't laugh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> stop sending me garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Stop posting cringe. Stop posting. <laughs> hey, you're getting really cringy right now. You're gonna okay? lose a subscriber if yeah. you keep posting cringe, right. dude. Stop. Yeah. So I I don't know why I started talking about that. It's just something that I saw and it was like, like I'm not trying to suck our dicks here, but I just truth. feel like it was your truth. You had to speak I, I your hope, truth. I hope that like YouTubers like, like, cause he's like super blessed to be in that position. He'll admit that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe if I had that many subscribers, I'd feel differently, but I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'd I think I'd be like, yo, thanks for you know, e- even if it's just like liking the tweet, yeah. and I can't get to like a response, like I feel like that's better than what he did, which was, yo, I already did this, bro. <laughs> it's literally like, more work than being like, yo, thanks. Like yeah. even if you don't have time, even if that's how you really feel, dude. Yeah. Even if you're like, people are out here trying to steal my fucking Kingdom Hearts theories, bro. I copyrighted those theories they're mine you can't have them and you're being copy striked <laughs> yeah i'm gonna copyright strike your tweet you know, even if that's how you really feel why not just go oh hey thanks man thanks for support or don't say anything yeah, just, just like it yeah man sorry i'm not trying to be a, a judgy a judgy joe today just you know and don't you dare fucking steal the fact that we know that Larkseen is the worst organization member, period. Okay, no, I don't agree with that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's not something I agree with. And that's on period. I, I'm i sorry. Maybe this is a boomer moment no, for you me. No, you're having a boomer moment. Okay, but I don't mind. know why you never just mind. said that. Never mind. What does no. that mean? <sighs> never mind. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Jason, we have a new segment today. I'm going to clap for some reason. We have a new segment. Oh, my God. And it spawns during the pot, the live podcast. And I didn't have a name for it then. But if you go to a beautiful website called cage13.com, Ooh, they have uh, a, good one. a bunch of translations of from the book Kingdom Hearts Character Files, which is not coming to America It's as of yet. It's yeah. just in Japanese. So they translated a bunch of these character files for us. And we're gonna we're gonna the absolute read saints. through them like we did. We started this on the live podcast. We read Alias and Dylan. Now we're now we're gonna read some more in a segment I like to call Character Files. Character Files. 
So, character files. Jason, we are going to read two character files per session of character files. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to start, actually, um, with one of Jason's favorite voices to do. It's the character files. It's the character file of Zigbar's story oh titled my, Oh my God. The Fool. Oh my God. Jason is not. Oh, hold on. Let me put it in reader view for you on <laughs> my phone. This is a very long character file, so uh, good luck, Jason. Jesus Christ. This is like somebody's thesis. Like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I need some like fucking like honey juice with like some like ginger and like some like lemon honey to, lemon <laughs> to like soup my throat like the character in I need some golem juice Big Hero Six honey lemon okay I can't find, even find the beginning Jesus okay <laughs> <coughs> good luck good luck Zigbar good luck soldier <laughs> oh, I salute you good luck. It was a long, long time ago. People all over the world lived peacefully, bathed in the warm light. But before they knew it, a battle broke out over the light. As a result, everything turned to nothing. However, it was so long ago that that no one even knows how long it was. But maybe this story is happening in the present. Or is it that distant past? Your face tells me you have no idea what I'm talking about. It's all right. You don't need to understand it yet. It makes no difference to me. You know it's the height of stupidity to judge a person based on appearances, right? Well, maybe the box is the same way. In the black, is the black box really black? What kind of black? Is it even black at all? The simpletons are just looking for a regular black box. They don't understand what kind of box it is or what's in it. There's a major difference between knowing and understanding. So the box... I guess you want to know how I ended up losing it, huh? What do you want to know? Well, I say that I've already said as much as I can about that. You know, the stuff about knowing versus understanding and all that jazz. And of course, it's possible that all the contents are a secret no one are a secret no one knows about. You could even say it's a surprise. You'll see. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> It's so fucking long. How about the thought experiment? Say you were told this world was ending tomorrow. Would you just give in and wait for the end? Or would you get all fired up and do something about it? Think back to the black box. What kind of black it is. No one knows. And the end of the world? How would you expect anyone to know how that pans out either? Think back to when the man called Zemnis originally opened the door to this world's kingdom of hearts. When and where was that exactly? How long have you thought about thought that what what? How long have you thought that the flow of time from then to now was continuous? Dude, Zigbar is on some absolute five head galaxy brain bullshit. I swear to God, he fucking <laughs> he ate some fucking vitamin C gummies before he wrote this. He's an absolute mad lad. Is time really continuous in the first place? Uh, Now you look at me like you don't believe me. But how else would you explain it? And so I've always watched over you guys, or rather watched over the Keyblade. I just played the part of a fool who wanted the power of the Keyblade for myself. This world is Olympus. The brave hero that Sora relies on for all his hero-related needs lives here. What constitutes a hero? Well, depending on what world you're in or what time period you're asking, The answer differs, kind of like how Keyblade wielders differ. So what kind of Keyblade world are you, Sora? All this altruism is filling me with the warm and with the warm and fuzzies. So then does having a heart of light come with an extremely good insurance policy? So there's like dialogue. There's like dialogue between him and Sora and Sora saying, just say what you mean. Sora glared at me. Oh, but I thought I, but I did though. <laughs> That's like such a dumb like. But I did though. <laughs> I did though. <laughs> I did though. Oh, but I did though. 
no good will ever come from putting other people first. The hero beside him, Hercules, chimed in. I was able to save Meg's life because I was ready to risk my own. Because you've got friends in high places, you mean. Tricks like that don't fly for your average Joe. I laughed scornfully at the two of them. What do you know? You weren't even there. If you were, you'd admire Herc's courage, Sora said, and his eyes were full of his usual light. He has good eyes. I've always thought so. Is he like thinking he's gonna like like yo? I I need a replacement like. <laughs> yeah, I need an eye replacement, dude. <laughs> or a vessel replacement. <gasps> da, da, da. <gasps> I don't admire one guy leaping into danger if it means someone else might have to come in to save him. You're all just lining up to lose out, dooming others to take the fall for you. How much of my true intent is getting through to you? It doesn't reach you at all. I've got a problem, but come on. You can at least take some of it to heart. These kids and their heart-guided keyblades. I've seen more than enough of you go down the path of self-sacrifice, and it never ends well. Oh, and you can spare me with the usual party lines. Yes, hearts are powerful when they're connected. But if you t put too much of that power in one place, one of those hearts might end up breaking. As usual, I said just what I wanted to say, and then turned my back on him. Sigh. But what if that's still not enough? These Keyblade fools are stubborn bunches after all. Still, Sora, that doesn't mean you should change. Accept the power you're given. Find the hearts joined to yours. <laughs> Although I've got to say it, it's not like I'm doing anything different here. Connected hearts and, guard and guided hearts. The two hearts have some similarities, but they're different. Why would I ever take advice from you? As if. You don't have any choice but to follow these sweet little trail of breadcrumbs. At the end, you'll finally realize what destiny has in store for you. In fact, your reward might just be around the corner. You're so close. And with that, I disappeared from Sora's sight. That's right. It's just around the corner. I'm so close to my reunion, and with it, fulfilling my mission. May my heart be my guiding key. Wow. So My fucking throat hurts. Yeah. So that gives us a little more context of what Zigbar was thinking in that scene. As in, if. Uh, in Olympus. So it's pretty interesting, actually. Because a lot of that is word for word dialogue from the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which you didn't expect. You didn't read this beforehand. No, <laughs> not just, at all. Jason likes when I just shove things in front of him and tell him to read and it. And I just go. I just, just go goes. with it. But no, that's pretty interesting stuff, man. Uh, Zigbar's a pretty... Uh, he's got a lot of intrigue. Yeah, he... Uh, a lot of like intrigue. Like, the beginning of it was really weird. Because I didn't feel like Zigbar. Because he's like... I do declare. And all these hearts and all... It didn't like, feel like Zigbar because it's Luju. <coughs> yeah. Sorry. And then okay. as 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 he got like derailed, and then it became more like, then I was like, okay, I can see Luju say like Zigbar saying this shit, but at first I was like, what the fuck is going on, bro? Right, right. So because you read that really long one, I'm gonna read Demix's. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> uh, it's called a tweet of a substitute. Hmm. Is he subtweeting or something? He's like... tweeting at somebody. He's tweeting <laughs> at. At D Dance Water Dance on Twitter. <laughs> At Demix Time on Twitter. Well, am I in the organization? Well, I mean, that's kind of Axel, wasn't it? That was. No, no, that, that oh, kind of sounded like Demix. You yeah, liked it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Why am I in the organization? Well, I mean, there's lots of reasons, but. Oh, right. I wanted friends, right? Oh, no. Wow. Actually, no, that sounded way uncool. But now I'm thinking back on it, and I'm just like, yeah, I guess it kind of was like that, huh? Aside from the whole old guys club going on, it seems kind of like there was a lot of tight-knit groups in the organization. You know, like Axel and Syax, Marluxia and Larxene, Zexion and Vexen, and Zaldin and Lexius. And I guess in the end, I hung out with the old guy a lot. Yeah, so it's not like a big deal. Seriously, that's it. I hate fighting and jamming out is way more fun. Sad stuff, painful stuff. Why would I want to do anything like that? I mean, I guess there's the stuff you got to do to survive. But if I can, I'd much rather live a life on Easy Street, you know? That's what I'm talking about. I never thought Vexen would ask me for help, and I mean, I can't say I'm a fan of, you know, doing things. But I figured it's better than sitting around on the beach like that. So just carrying stuff around? I can do that. It's Demix time. 
But yeah, it's just like he was always saying, you know, the may your heart be your guiding key guy. Hey, but wait, what's it supposed to be guiding me to again? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, so no. I wanted to read Demix's because um, he's kind of, we thought uh, he was going to be doing more in Remind. No, we, we he did re- not. He did not. He did not. We were uh, wrong. We were all wrong. Well, because there was that interview with Nomira where he sa- they said, and Demix is, and he said, he's certainly coming. Like basically meaning like he's going to have something to do. And basically it just said... He just carried a body, which we knew he already did. You know, he is in the game. He is <laughs> Demix is in the game. <laughs> he is in the game. So yeah, that's the character files. Jason read a really long one. Holy I read shit. a. I read a pretty easy one. I'm so tired uh, now. If you guys want us to read a, two specific ones next week, let us know at the Discord or in the comments on YouTube or or email us or whatever, and uh, we'll we'll continue to read the ones that are translated until we've read all of them. It's a tall order. Holy shit. We are now going to take a quick break. And when we come back, when we come back, we're going to have the question of the week. We are going to have the final secret answer report report, number 13, which is the final one in Kingdom Hearts 2. And yeah, I think that's it. Wow. (laughs) So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Answer Report Podcast. This is episode number 57, if somehow you started in the middle, like some kind of cretin. Oh my god. Question of the week. Question of the week. Okay. Threw a little bit more on there. Threw a little bit more on there for you. (laughs) This question of the week was suggested to us by... uh, Discord member Wildcat Diana, and it was suggested during the live Answer Report podcast. We didn't get a ton of answers on this one because it's a very heady. It's a very five. Yeah. It's a very galaxy brain. Only only five head wine glass drinkers. Right. Will understand. We'll get it. We'll understand. The question. You can only understand if you're holding a glass of wine like me and Mike are right now. I am. I'm drinking a nice rosé. We got a nice cheese board as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mira very much enjoys the cheese board. No, Mira is here. Yes, he also has a wine glass. Yes. But he can't drink it because his arms a, are tied up at his He's side. got a nice uh, rosé. <laughs> yeah, he just he kind of tries to like, you know, like pick up the like, whole cup with his mouth type thing. I, Jason's been slowly yeah, s- I, sipping I, him I, some wine and cheese. I can, I as can, we go. I do a little drip feed for Here's him. Here's the question of the week: What is your theory on how Union Cross will end? How does this? How does that story connect to modern day Kingdom Hearts? That's a question Galaxy everybody Brain. wants to know. Galaxy Brain question. Just a Red Nocturne says, the main characters travel to specific points in the future through the pods of the Ark. Ventus to pre-BBS, he will meet Master Xehanort here. Scold the Radiant Garden, she will meet Apprentice Xehanort here. Lorium to Beast Castle, he will meet Zigbar here. Larxene to Port Royal, she will meet Luxord here. Brain will go to Scala, he will meet young Ericus and Xehanort here. Ephemer and Player will stay behind. Maleficent will also return to Mysterious Tower when the fairies remember her. The data simulation will shut down. Ephemer will find out that Daybreak is broke and transform it after receiving the no-name from Luju, who has been waiting for him. Player will be turned into a Darkling, and Ephemer will have to stop them. We are the final boss. The path to Dark Road is now open. <gasps> that was a lot. That was a lot there. But it's... Dude, it's feasible. As close as we are to getting an ending to that, there is a lot that needs to happen in order right. to tie it up properly. Yeah. Um... Wildcat Diana says, since I came up with the question, I will not give a full-fledged theory. I will just say I don't think Player and Ephemer make it out alive, and it would be a very Nomura thing to make the player the Keyblade, in a way to say that the light of the Princesses of Heart we have been protecting since KH1 was us all along. Mm. Honestly, I have more questions and theories. Why was Ven Shirthy in the final world? If Maleficent does not have amnesia... That means it's not the arc that makes the travelers like Ven, Lorium, and Skuld lose memories. If so, what did? If you need someone to remember you on the other side, who remembered Ven and Skuld? Why does Dark Inferno call itself darkness? So many questions. So many questions. Mm. Thank you, Wildcat Diana. The Box on a Dark Road Trip says, I feel like this is a bit of a tricky question to answer because you know the general outline of what's going to happen already. What we don't know are the details. 
And the last update also answered what was possibly the most pressing question. How did the union leaders jump to the future? And as we know now, it's all thanks to the Ark, which has, has the side effect of invalidating all the previous established time travel rules. As for current lore, all you need to move from the past to BBS times, which seems to be the point in time where most of the key kids from the past ended up, is using the Ark and having someone keeping your memory alive in the future. This person is probably Luju, who was tasked to live through the ages and serve as a beacon for all the time travelers. Mm. We see him summoning the foretellers back during the epilogue, after all. And I want to point out that the key novel clarifies that the foretellers didn't die in the war with Ava. Wait, sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that long. I want to point out that the key novel clarifies that the foretellers didn't die in the war with Ava asking herself what she will do after its end. Obviously, the whole point of this is that Maleficent is doing the same thing that Luju is doing, but on Darkness's behalf and not the Master of Masters. Hmm. Yeah, we could speculate about who goes where, who stays behind, and who gets no name, etc., etc., but I don't think that's all. That's so relevant at this point, since we already know where everyone ends up with a few exceptions. Also, I haven't watched Coco yet, but if they want to just tie some Disney lore to the plot, well, it writes itself, just like a Wreck-It Ralph and what's going on in Data World's Union Cross, and probably Virum Rex too. Thank you, The Box. Hmm. Pretty interesting stuff, and that would make a lot of sense if that was Lu Zhu's role, was to remember them so they could go to the future. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That, that would make it so that they could time travel. But wait. Isn't the point that Maleficent is remembered in her own time, and that's why she's able to go back? Well, yeah. she So she's remembered by, like, the other people, right? Mm-hmm. So she that that's like what makes it so that she can go back. But like during in between KH one and two, she's doing this other shit because she's time traveled. Right. right. But what I'm saying is they're not from that time. So even though they're not from that time, is lo- because Luju Zigbar knows them and remembers them, they can come forward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that's what was being laid out. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Mickey Mouse, a.k.a. Sean 2.0, says, I don't think this is actually how it's going to end, but how I thought it was going to end for a long time was Lurium, Elrena, the player character, Ventus, and Skold all travel to the future. Ephemer and Brain stay behind and lead the remaining dandelions until they die, and that group would eventually become Skala and Kayum, with Ericus being descendant of Brain. Now I really have no idea what is going on, LOL. I still expect some of that to happen, but the inclusion of the art kind of shaked stuff up. Yeah. Hmm. Very true. Very true. I think a lot of people thought that those guys were going to end up in Scala, or at least Brain, because they talk about Ericus is a blue blood. He's he's a descendant of Keyblade wielders. Yeah. And so, and he looks kind of like Brain, maybe, possibly. Yeah. It's hard to Vaguely. say. Vaguely. Different art styles. Hard to say. Yeah. So, interesting. Okay. Jason, do you have a do you have a theory on what exactly could happen here? Well. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of feel like there, there's got to be some point where, like, Xehanor has to pop up. Whether he's, like, young. In Union Cross, you mean? Yeah. I think he has to, to, like, to like tie it in. Or, like, they're all going to get, obviously, they're all going to get out of the simulation, right? Like, it, that's kind of what it's all building up to. Right. But, like, something's going to go wrong for sure. Um, but, yeah, it, it's 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 weird that and in, the, in the, the report with Luju, where, where he's reading it, I think it's... Is it the first report in Cage 3? I don't remember. Well, he, he's talking about how, oh, unless there's a, a certain lady of magic knows more yes. or something yes, like yes, that, yes. right? Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't know. Because in Cage 3, Maleficent was just like a red herring. Like, she had literally nothing to do with the entire yeah, she didn't plot do line. She literally did nothing except for look for a box, yeah. right? Same with Pete, which is kind of whack. Because they're some of the best parts in Cage 2. Yeah, Tara and I re- recently played through the Timeless River Yeah, in Cage 2 and... I, I really miss the later losers. Right. With that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like it, his boss fight, like you go to the four different spots at the Timeless River and it, put, it brings the curtain down with his big yeah. dumb face on it. He's like, see you later. And he runs and he's off he's got screen the and fucking and, zipper that goes all the way down under his gooch and Yeah, everything. he got no murad. Yeah. 
He's a badass. Pete is a badass. And past Pete is kind of a badass, but for whatever reason, he's got really back, bad back problems. Yeah. That somehow got better over time. Well, that's because... As he got bigger. At, well, he got he got more ripped, dude. He built mm. he built the muscles around his back. Ooh, okay. And it stabilized his it spine. fused so his it, spine together well, with his muscle. He didn't... Right. Yeah, basically, the rest of his <clears throat> body got stronger, so he didn't mm. need to... And besides, have you seen that grundle, dude? Yeah. Who cares about the man's back? <laughs> <laughs> it's Look, so strong. This grundle is so strong, it doesn't matter. He's, it just holds him together. Imagine the grundle butter hanging out in that area. <laughs> oh, Jesus Ooh. Christ. With the fur? You know, because you know he's furry. Jesus Christ, stop. Yeah. There's been, there's some Somebody, Rule 34 out there. Somebody that, help. There's some Rule 34 where someone released that zipper oh, and no, showed us what's no, going on in his, no, his downstairs no. mix-up. Oh, no. No. You know? no. So, yeah, Pete's a badass, but anyway. he was a red herring in, in case yeah. you so, like, I don't know if they're just doing the same shit with them, you know? Like, oh, yeah, Maleficent's isn't still part of it. Right. Well, like, recently there's been more with it and then with darkness and everything. Right. Uh, yeah, so I, I guess we're come, we've come to the conclusion we don't really fucking know how it's going to tie in, you know? Yeah. I mean, the arc is obviously a safe bet. There's still those pods in Twilight Town. Like, they, there's all True. those extra pods. People always thought that was maybe part of it. Um we still don't know where the fuck Luke Sword's from. I mean, we, we we have an idea. We think he's probably from Yozora's world, but yeah, um, we don't know that. And if that's the case, why did Zemnis reference his Keyblade wielding like past or like his yeah. lineage? And the same his with link. same with Demix. You think Demix? You think Demix is from uh, Yozora's world too? That'd be cool. He's kind of like the the prompto. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They're similar characters. Yeah. But if that's the case, they did, his his character file didn't give us any kind of indication of no. anything no, there. Not at all. It was just kind of like, oh, I, I joined the organization to make friends, and I guess I'm friends with Zigbar. Yeah. You know, that's about it. Larkseen called me a cereal bowl. Or she said a cereal bowl would be a better vessel. That's what it was. <laughs> I'm not even a cereal bowl. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even as good as a cereal bowl. <laughs> I think he could hold some Cocoa Puffs, dude, mm. in his arms. No so anyway, milk, though. that was the question of the week. Uh, related topic, our, our good friend Mel from The Secret Reports, The Secret Reports YouTube channel and Tumblr and all that stuff, released a video recently titled... Is there an imposter brain? Actually, I don't know if that's the title. Brain of it, but has an impersonator. Has an imperson impersonator. Impersonator. Impersonator theory. Yes. Yeah, so she has a theory up that talks about how brain is pretty inconsistent in his characterization. Well, at and times. one one thing that I really like that she points out that really like messed with me because it was when we were still doing like Unicross, like like story updates and everything, and I remember we're talking about it and. He talks about, like, probably, like, two times before our most recent story update with it, he talks about how he's going to be the virus, right? right? Like, right when they get there. And then he says it again, like, as if he's declaring it, like, for the first time. Right. And that's what really confused me. And it's I'm like, like, why did he say it again? Is this, like, a translation thing? Well, like, then, remember, I was on? talking about, for a while, they're like, what, what, is he, what does he mean he's reading the Book of Prophecies for the first time? He's fucking had it forever. Why is he reading it now? Yeah. Because I remembered him reading it. Yeah. And then, so there's a point where... I don't, we, we can't talk about the whole video because we want you to watch her video. Is the right, point. right. But she talks about it in way better than we're Way better to. detail. Um, but basically, I don't know if the theory is true or not, but it is pretty intriguing how mm. um, it's it, it could be. There's a lot of signs that point to maybe Ava is disguising herself as, a, herself as Brain. Yeah. Or it could be someone else. And then there's all the shit with Ventus, and who knows? Right. Also, what's Ventus funny about this thing. is we were watching her video, and we were talking about it while we were watching it, and you said, yeah, he's really inconsistent. And I was like, it's funny that in Kingdom Hearts, we're, we've... We, there's bad writing and we try to come up with all these reasons why it, there's no way it could just be bad writing or bad characterization it has to be because he's an imposter yeah. when really it could just be it could be someone else wrote that part yeah <laughs> you know what i mean or yeah. I, I hope that's not the case but or I, that it's just kind of like more messy like the right 
they, it wasn't like vetted properly, like right. the story. So we'll see, but go watch that video. Go to the Secret Reports YouTube channel. Mel has a ton of good. The the we talk, I said earlier we're not really um, theory crafters or anything, but Mel has theories, but she also just explains what things are or like what like all of our dream, knowledge is on something. Right, she recaps all the knowledge. Like Dream Drop Distance, she's doing a series on that called Dream Drop Discuss that is just incredible. Yes. And they are the some of the most professionally done videos on YouTube. Yes. In my opinion. Yeah. Just the art, the animation, the sound design. Yeah. Everything about it is just so impressive. Aesthetically pleasing. And aesthetically pleasing. And so if you are not subscribed to Mel... I'm not just saying this because she's a member of the Discord and, and, and a friend of the show. You need to go check out her channel if you, you like Kingdom Hearts. You are doing a disservice to yourself you, you, and everybody. Right. I, I don't think there's... No offense to any of the other uh, content creators that I'm friends with or anything. That is my favorite Kingdom Hearts YouTube channel right now is a Secret Report. No, no offense to anybody else, but she is doing some... Mine is HMK. <laughs> she's doing some excellent <laughs> work. Yeah, that's, that's real funny. Mine's IGN. Uh, that's my favorite Kingdom Hearts YouTube channel. Uh, no, Secret Reports, go check her out. Um, just amazing content. Mel, keep up the great work. We, we are we are very proud that, that you want to be in our community and hang out with us and, and because you are, you are fantastic. A gem. You're a gem. But not like one that you can buy for five ninety nine in Union Cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in Dark Road. In Dark Road. So the question of the week next week, Jason. Do we have a question of the week for the next week? Give us your pitch for how Star Wars enters the Kingdom Hearts universe, enters the Kingdom Hearts canon in the next game. How do they get it in? How do they how do they fit it in? Do they go original trilogy? Mm. Do they go prequel trilogy? Do they go current trilogy? Do they go Mandalorian? Oh, you know, there's a, do they go Clone Wars? Oh, there's a lot of different ways they could do it. Do they go Rebels, Rebels, yeah, yeah, Rebels as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they go? Do they, they go Rogue One? <laughs> no, they don't go Rogue One. That's On a, Solo. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, I ruined the question. Yeah, yeah. Next, yeah, yeah, next thing you're gonna say, Star Wars Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so we want to know what your pitch is for getting Star Wars into Kingdom Hearts in the future. Uh, whatever you want, whatever you want to throw out there, we'll take it. Okay, but like, what Do about it. the like Beauty and the Beast Christmas special? How the fuck does that make sense? Because he's a beast. <laughs> what? what? The fuck, dude? At the end of Beauty and the Beast, he becomes a man again. It happens during the movie. No, no. During the because he's a good ass dude no, in this movie. The, the, it happens, How do you remember the plot? <laughs> It happens, you know, in, in Beauty and the Beast, there's the, I think there's something there that wasn't there before. Like that montage. Okay, yeah, and yeah. they're throwing snowballs at each other. It happens during that point oh, in the time. Okay, line. it's like a, pause right there. Yeah, yeah pause right there. It's Christmas time. <laughs> so that, that's what happens. And mm. then it goes later back to the movie. And then, and then they just jump cut over to where, like, it's pitchforks and <laughs> torches. Right, right. No, well, you're not gonna march on the castle on Christmas. <laughs> like that's they're that, not heathens. That's some, Gaston might be a lot of things, but a a heathen, he is not. No, a godless heathen, no. Not never that. So yeah, the, I don't, why are we talking about the Beauty and the Beast Christmas? Because you said Christmas special, and it it triggered a very pressing question on my mind. Fair enough. Fair For enough. years. That's the second question of the week. <laughs> is how did the Beauty and the Beast... What Christmas the fuck happened there? All right. Blue Kingdom. Give us... Fill us with the power of the secret report report. Secret Ansem report report. Fill us with the ultimate power. Restoration at 97%. Tomorrow, Sora awakens. My long and drawn out revenge is nearing its end. Xehanort, who took everything away from me. Though, as a heartless, he is no more. As the leader of Organization 13, 
His ambition, once again, is to capture Kingdom Hearts, the most colossal heart of all. His Heartless had attempted to draw out the great darkness of Kingdom Hearts, created from the hearts of all worlds. His nobody, however, is now almost finished gathering human hearts to be assimilated into Kingdom Hearts as well. <laughs> the Fool. Only one mystery remains. How did Xehanort manage to open the door that appeared in the basement of my castle? No. Any theory posed now, when everything is nearing completion, would be meaningless. Roxas. Ansem. Namine. They defy all logic, yet they are the singular exceptions to the rule. The theories proposed by me and by Organization 13 have been blown to pieces by a handful of strong hearted individuals. Sora, Kairi, Riku. Ah, yes. Riku. Though his heart has its weaknesses, making it prone to the darkness, he found support in the hope he discovered beyond suffering. This hope allowed him to stand his ground and turn the darkness in his heart from an enemy into his greatest weapon. When all this is over, it is my fervent hope that he will be able to return with Sora to his island. If I can, I should like to return to Radiant Garden to look once more upon the beautiful water, the lovely flowers, and the hopeful smiles of the people. Dear King, my friend, I believe that, at some point in time, you will come across these, my truthful accounts. How I wish I could have chatted with you again. I was a fool, obsessed with revenge. Forgive me. Looks like my summer vacation is over. Okay, so you received Secret Anthem Report 13 from defeating Zemnis the first time. Hmm. And as we're nearing the end of the dumbass Diz report, as I like to call it, basically he kind of recaps everything that's happened with Sora Awakening. Uh, he talks about how Roxas, Ansem, and Namine are weird anomalies in the rules of the world. And then Sora, Kairi, and Riku are strong-hearted. He just kind of talks, you know what I mean? He just kind of says things. Yeah. Um, and he apologizes to King Mickey of all people. It's like, Little does he know he left Aqua in the dark. Little realm. does he know King Mickey is an absolute idiot. So why would you ever apologize to him? Exactly. But yeah, so he just kind of recaps everything for us, nice and neat in a little bow, confirms some things that maybe were just semi confirmed, you know. And talks about how he wishes to return to Radiant Garden, which is funny because it's now Hollow Bastion. I mean, it's like it's called Radiant Garden. Yeah. But like that ain't that ain't the Radiant Garden we see in BBS that no. he was in charge of. Hell yeah. no, it's a it's a Scrooge McDuck has monopolized <laughs> the town with his ice cream sales. The corporate conglomerate yeah. that, is Scrooge, that is Scrooge McDuck. McDuck, and now he's going to take Twilight Town. It's only a matter of time before he sets up shop in Traverse Town. No, no, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? He's I'm, the true villain. I am for Scrooge McDuck taking over Traverse Town if that means Joshua fucks off. True. Fuck Joshua. <laughs> Worst fucking character ever written in any game ever. 
That's right. Worse. I wonder what he's worse like. than Jiminy Cricket. Okay, yeah, easy, dude. Worse. I, wa- I wonder what he's like in the world ends with you. We got to play that eventually. I'm gonna hate him in that game too. I- I'm sure you will. Whether whether it's deserved well, or not. Well, guys, I I decided to take their dreams and put them in. A- no, you didn't, Joshua. You fucking idiot. You didn't do any of this. Oh my god. The master of masters, the young Xehanort did. I don't know. I find it extremely doubtful that Joshua is competent in anything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> do you, who do you hate more, Joshua or HMK? <laughs> Okay, I don't hate it. Okay. Oh, okay. So I hate Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> Joshua, obviously, obviously. So uh, here's the deal: there are more reports to read, but we are going to be giving our good friend Blue a break from reading these reports. He's doing. He's done an excellent job. Yes. We we are very thankful to him for that. Yes. And so, but we're going to take a break from it for a little bit, and then. So at some point, you will see Blue Kingdoms. We hope you will look forward to his return. Reports again. We hope you will look forward to his return. Thank you, Blue. Um, I, I, I'm you obviously saying this to you in person too, but thank you for doing this. It's been a, it's been a wild ride. We will return at one point. Um, that sounded way more like like it was the last one ever than I meant it to be, but it's not. It's not the <laughs> it's last really one. Really not. Ever. We're, we just <laughs> we're we're worried about. Um, this is kind of like inside baseball for our show, but we're kind of worried about falling into the same formula, and we have been pretty formulaic for the last 20 yeah, episodes or, show, or right. so. And so now that we have a break, we want to take a break from that so we can explore uh, new segments and new things to do on the podcast. So it's not yeah. always we talk about random shit, we take a break, uh, the question of the week, and Blue's answer report. And then, and then we talk this about every it. time. Because yeah. it has been that for a while. So we're trying to switch things up a little bit. Spice it up. Uh Thank you again, Blue, for for doing that for us and and being an awesome part of the show. So next week, we're going to have some different things to do, and I I don't know what you can look forward to, but we hope you will look forward to it. Look forward to it. (laughs) Jason, do you have anything else you want to talk about before we uh, go on our way? Uh... I want you guys to know when he does things like that, it is just as awkward as it sounds. I, I'm like looking around the room, like, what do I do when he does this? I, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, and I'm just like, uh, uh, duh, uh. The only thing to do is to harmonize with it. Duh. Oh my bad. <laughs> All right, do it again. Like, uh. uh, uh <laughs> well, I just want to say thank you to everybody. You're absolute fucking mad lads. You're fucking dope. Love you. you guys, Appreciate you. You guys are always a great part of my day. One thing I will add before we go. I know I, I gave a coronavirus speech like two weeks ago. But, you know, things are getting scary out there. So make sure you're washing your hands. Make sure you're uh, not touching your face. Make sure that you're, um, you know, staying inside unless you need to go somewhere. Because it's spreading. It's really going. Uh, and... Make sure that if you you're, you're getting you're getting help if you need it because woo, you don't you don't want that stuff to get you. And you know what? We're of the age we're young enough where if we do get it, we'd probably survive. But the scary thing is like spreading it to your loved ones who are like older yeah. or younger and yeah. won't be able to handle it. So um, yeah, sounds like they're working on a, on a vaccine that's gonna work. Um, but you know we we're probably gonna have some some rough times before it gets better. So just everybody stay safe. We love you all. Instead of going out, just watch our podcast or something. Yeah. Just let us profit off the coronavirus. We, we, will, we will stream. Yeah. <laughs> we will, hopefully, I'm hoping we get a quarantine so we can just stream for two weeks straight, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be pretty dope. Just kidding. Uh, but we would do it. Uh, anyway. We definitely would. We definitely Jason, would. We're crazy. We're fucking insane. Hit him with it. We're fucking psychopaths. May your heart be your guiding key. Thank you. As if. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs>